so last night I went to Westpac to deposit some oh, this eyelash to deposit money and the ATM decided to suck up my card even though I'm leaving to South Korea today to go get a lot of plastic surgery I was freaking out and I was like what do I do cool so I called them up well, I didn't call them up because it was 11.30 p.m. So I couldn't do anything about it. And I just went today and I finally got it and it's all good. Um, what else sort of stuff's happened that's gone terribly wrong? Oh, yeah, nails. Apparently they have to come off for surgery. So I need a... On the plane. I pretty packed up everything. All I need to do is play... WWE on the PlayStation 4. Um, you can download my character. I don't know why you haven't yet. Blake Butler. I also had people messaging me saying, girl, have you got your travel card? Have you got your SIM card international? And I was like, bitch, I haven't, oh, I haven't, oh, I haven't traveled overseas before. I don't know what any of this means. So I was like, no. And everyone was like, oh, and I was like, oh, well, <laughs> it's five o'clock shadow. Um, look, there's not much more to say than mind your damn business. So I went to Westpac and they said, oh no, you don't need a travel card. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So then I just got my credit card. And then I went to Vodafone and I was like, oh, I need an international SIM card to go to Korea today. This is literally an hour ago. And they were like, oh, you don't need one. And I was like, whoa. And they were like, you're with Vodafone, yeah? And I, they were like, yeah. and I was like, yeah. And they were like, are you on a plan or on a prepaid? And I was like, a plan. And they were like, yeah, you're fine. And I was like, work. Okay, sure. Blake Butler, that's the tea. <gasps> I just got to the airport and my check-in's not for another two hours. So I'm getting food, doll. You would literally think this is a shopping mall, but this is an airport. This makes no sense to me. I'm so lost. Don't even think I'm going to make it to South Korea. Um, I just arrived at Incheon Airport and I've got no idea where the freak I am because this place is not an airport, it's like Jurassic Park and I have no idea where I am and I did an outfit change because why not? <laughs> Welcome to Korea! Annyeong <laughs> ha I'm young now, see <laughs> This is so funny. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'll just Hi. <laughs> yes, I will sit in the front. Hi, Anna. Hello. <laughs> I'm here too. How do you say hello again? Annyeong haeseyeong? Yes. Annyeong haeseyeong. <laughs> Different windows than normal.
So this is my hotel room. I'm staying at Pesci 7. Doc Finder Korea set this up for me. This is the bathroom. She's actually really good. Like this toilet is one of those toilets that are heated on the seats. And like you can get your little um, special washers, which is cute. So this is the shower as well. She's really gorge too. Got my shampoo and conditioner there. Um, yeah. And this is the little kitchen area. <laughs> we've got a free mini bar that comes with our package. And we've got a safe there. So if you wanted to lock stuff, um, that's good for peace of mind. My hair is so... It's two twin beds. So gorge. <laughs> Today we're in front of ID Hospital and today you'll be having consultation. Yes! We are so excited for consultation. No. Are you excited, Blake? I'm so excited. Yay. Can't wait to see what sort of procedures we're going to talk about and what we're going to put them on okay. to get a new face. Okay. Can't wait to meet our doctors. like the uh, front profile of it mm. but on the side oh. it's mm. a more that like mm. so that's what I want to smooth out the most and same with the tip like I don't like I want it the littlest bit lifted up but like not too much at all mm. but I don't like when it's lift it up and mm. you can see like the nostrils I don't really like mm. that mm. look but it's not too high 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 I really love her nose and like on the side here see how she's got like a nice tip okay so like the hair point and it's like she's got like it's not so I feel like I've got a long nose if you are okay with it then he may do only the hump and the osteotype Mm, you guys have the similar case because you guys don't need to put the silicone on here but we need to trim the hump away but she's telling you it's the bone itself so there must be the limitation how much bone we can reduct it mm. so even though the doctor tries his best but there must be some remain on the nose as well oh yeah mm. i don't want it like all shaved up mm. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just, like, just like smooth right like, mm. the reason you want to remove the fat right mm. here because if you only read off the bone itself, then you may have some bumpiness, so okay. you only need to be removed the fat here. Yeah. So, so, mm -hmm. so, 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 so,
Yeah. 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 The forehead reduction as well, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't like my forehead. You can see it recedes back there, mm -hmm. which I and there, so it recedes back. So I did want that with a little bit lower, lower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The part seven centimeter. Strawberry milk. Um, strawberry soda milk. Isn't that? Ew. No, no, no. It's so good. I don't. I don't really like the coffee. Mm. Just coffee in a Too can. much caffeine. Not allowed. Soju alcohol. That also fucks you up. These are like hangover cures. Get a beer. Pre up. Um, Just came back from Burger King. Um, and 7-Eleven for necessities. It's her last meal before operating, getting a new face. Burger King, I thought, would be very fulfilling with great nutrients. Hello, so I just got back from my consultation where I met with my surgeons for the first time. I obviously have spoken to them before prior to coming here, Ovi. <laughs> But um, yes, I did meet them and they were very lovely and professional and they knew exactly what they were talking about, which made me feel so much more comfortable in going through with the procedures that I'm getting. So I want to talk about the procedures I'm getting. I'm getting a forehead reduction. Um, I'm getting a chin and jaw bone facial contouring as well as AccuSculpt and rhinoplasty. Um, I've had so many people message me saying like you don't even need it, you don't need facial feminization surgery, but this is something for me, this is something that I've wanted to do ever since... I've known really this is like I've always every time I look in the mirror I always just point out my masculine flaws and I'm just so excited that I'm finally not going to have that worry anymore after I get a new feminine face so I met with my surgeons and the first surgeon his name was Dr. Jae Hwan Kwon he is my doctor for my forehead reduction my facial bone contouring which is my chin and jaw I'm getting done so what it is is that they shave the chin and jaw um, to a more feminine face and something that suits your face more and he's also doing my AccuSculpt which is um, laser liposuction so no more double chin thank god because I mean we don't even have to say it twice look at my videos he specializes in all these things and he was really good to meet with because he knew exactly what he was talking about he was so professional and going into this consultation I was very nervous because I'm someone that hasn't been under anesthesia before so going into it, I was like oh my god like what if that goes wrong after meeting with him he made me feel so much more comfortable in the surgeries I'm getting and reassured me that everything's gonna be okay and he was just overall a really good man my other doctor his name was Dr. Chi, Dr. Chi Young Bang, and he was also just as well and amazing. He told me what sort of look I exactly want to go for, so I had to show photos of Aunt Rezzy because, let's be real, she's got the best, she's just got the best face in general. Um, so I was like showing all these photos of Aunt Rezzy and I was like, I want a quiff in my nose, like I want it, you know, slimmer, because on the side of my nose you can see I've got a hump. Obviously that's not shown in photos because like from face chin like I'll smooth it out and stuff but like oh my nose is my biggest insecurity on my face 1000% and my nails I had to take them off because obviously going to surgery you're not allowed to have nails on. So that was really good to know that I'm going to come out with an amazing nose fingers crossed because Dr. Shi Young Bang made me feel really good. Um, 
He specializes in this. He knew, he knew exactly what he was talking about. At ID Hospital, they really, you know, they care about you. They take care of you. They're not doctors that are just there to do their job. They really make you feel at home. They make you feel like you, they want to achieve everything you want or your goals you want. They make sure that they'll do the best of their ability to try and give you that. I'm very excited and happy going into this surgery knowing that I've got two of the best surgeons in this country yet alone world probably after doing a lot of research i found that there was a medical tourist company named doc finder career that can help you with so much in planning the best hospital stay the best hotel stay as well as surgeons and hotel uh, hotel hospital clinic and i chose to go with doc finder career because they're the most trustworthy agency by the looks of it and they've done so many amazing people around the globe and they're just globally recognized by the public so they were they were the best option to go with they provide you quotes that you need uh they provide all the information that you need going into your surgery or whether or not you have questions of pain level your like your anxiety everything like that like they're really there to help you which is amazing <laughs> hand gestures hun okay they arrange pickup from the airport and drop off as well when you leave um if you travel to korea that is they also chauffeur you to all your appointments that you have and all your consultations which is another great thing um Drop us anywhere. I'm so bad with money. Sorry. Anya! 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 What's that there? That looks pretty. Oh my god, a fences! Should we cross? Don't cross the road. Oh, don't the face. Wait, is that a movie? <laughs> That's Avengers! What do you mean? Is that a movie? There's a motorbike coming. <laughs> Right, I feel like I'm in the hangover or something. When they it lost the baby. Tomorrow. Oh, literally. No, you know how Banged people think that I'm Madeline McCann? People also think that I'm the baby from the hangover, so. <laughs> Wait, which one? The, the only baby that's in the hangover. <laughs> put a pair of sunglasses on, couldn't tell the difference. Literally, like, I feel like it's just the same shot. What is this? Oh, unlimited buffet? Oh. Oh. Oh, that looks like a curry and barbecue. Yeah, where is it? Upstairs? Yeah. I wouldn't know because I can't tell the difference between any of these signs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've got the like a cock in a photo booth. <gasps> That's disgusting. Oh, actually, kind of gorge. My nails aren't there. We've now we got to find a taxi from. We don't know where to get picked up or where to go. We don't know where we are. And we don't know where the hotel is. We and don't Korea know what block we're on. Maps. MTV, welcome to my crib. But I'm not that cheesy. Oh, Hi, E News, me. welcome to my the house. Oh. You can't film it like it's just cool. be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be beside herself. <laughs> In my room? I love how she says my room, like we're not sharing it. Like I don't sleep in that bed that you're standing on. <laughs> We went to the hospital to check on Clom to see if she's okay and how she's doing because she just came out of surgery and she's doing well. Um, obviously a bit swollen at the moment and but she said she doesn't feel anything which is good so but she said she doesn't feel anything which is really reassuring for me so at least I know now what to expect going into this like what my face is going to look like how I'm going to be. Um, I'm nervous about the room because it was so hot but like 
Because I'm a type of person, like, I've got a blanket on now because I've got the aircon set on 11 degrees. Um, because I love cold. I cannot deal with warmth. Anything over 20 degrees, I'm like, nope. I'm very excited now to go through with my surgeries tomorrow. This is the last time you're going to see this face. My whole 21 years of existence is about to come to an end. <laughs> no, that's a bit dramatic. But, um, I'm just so excited to finally see, like everything I've always dreamed of and everything I've always thought of and how I'm gonna look. I just can't wait to look more feminine and just really be able to be my full authentic self. I mean, I still wanna get my boobs done, but that's later down the track. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. Um, I'll film tomorrow when I get to the clinic and I'll have Abby record me and help me with my vlog, so yeah. It is officially May the 1st, and you know what that means. Today's the day of my surgery, and I'm so excited. I'm not even nervous, honestly. Chloe has been messaging me, saying that she's doing amazing. She can't feel any pain. The only uncomfortable thing she's going through is the tube down her throat and, like, a dry mouth, but, like, that's standard. But I'm so excited to finally get a beat face forever. Um, I'm going to take y'all along with me to the clinic and what's happening in my recovery process today. But I'm super excited. And yeah, I washed my hair one last time because I was like, it's going to be so dirty for the next few days. But that's why it's curly. And I was going to straighten it. But then I was like, mm, can't be bothered with that. So yeah. We've just left Anna. I oh, we should wait. At the hospital, that's going to be Oh, yeah, show me your doctor. Um, Dr. Kwon Jae Hun. He's hot. Yeah, he's cute. And Dr. Bang Chi Young. Oh. He's the other one. Which one's your favourite? Don't want to do favourite. That's rude. <laughs> I mean, I know you're getting ready for surgery, but I kind of want to do an outfit of the day. Okay. Personal belongings. Sweet dreams. By Winfred. Going in for surgery. I wish I was. I feel like they're all looking at me being like, so she's not the one who's getting surgery. Yeah. <laughs> You're more applicable for FFS than me. I know. Good. You really oh. looked like Chewbacca then. Yeah. I feel like I'm drinking jungle juice. <laughs> it's like the cover of Vogue. Yes. Yeah, Cosmopolitan. Is there anything you want to say to new Blake? Um, she better work that gram and be hot. And, and better stop face tuning because she doesn't need to. You don't need yes. to now anyway. <laughs> but I definitely won't. Maybe smooth this. But you'll have out. no excuse when you got a full face of pretty. Mm hmm. New face of all cosmetic plastic surgery. She won't need face face tuning. I'm deleting the app. Do you think you're going to be proud of her? very proud of her she's very strong for going through a big operation like this mm -hmm. and i'm very blessed 
And do you think this is the big and first step into what is going to be the rest of your transition? 100%. This is the beginning of my transition and journey. Beautiful. And I'm excited to do it with ID Hospital. Yeah, I've flown out before I've got to go out. Mm, it, there won't, won't be any like uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's happening! She's not full, I have to look for it. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous, excited. I'm ready for this to be all cut open, bones exposed, smitten tucked. She'll be a new woman. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the toilet for <laughs> Bye, boy. See you later Bye. with new face. The last time this face will ever be seen on your YouTube channel. Goodbye, Fred. I love you.